Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here at DocSports.com and welcome to the update for Monday, June 17th, 2019. I got a free pick coming up in just a moment, plus a thumbnail sketch on the New Orleans Saints. That's coming up in just a second. First, a quick note, if you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, you get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or any other capper over at DocSports.com. Again, $60 $60 free account. It's a great way to give it a trial run, DocSports.com. And again, all you got to do to get started, click on the link below the video. Here's what we got going on Monday. One play, one premium pick on Monday, and it's a big one. Elite level six unit play. We went 4-0 this past week with our elite level baseball plays. Those wagering just $100 made $2,300. Go grab that six unit play. I think you're going to love the line on this particular game. There's value on one side. We're going to explain it in our analysis. And that play will be available on Monday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. We'll look to go to 5-0 over the past week with our elite level plays. Nothing else going on on Monday. No WNBA. Uh, we split yesterday between baseball and the WNBA. Unfortunately, I lost that top play in golf. Adam Scott, tough way to lose. He, he falters down the stretch the last couple of holes, and then you got open door for John Rahm uh, to come in and birdie the 18th, and that cost us uh, with Adam Scott yesterday. We'll have to get back in the win column with the next tournament in the PGA. All right, let's get to our thumbnail sketch uh, on the Saints, and then we'll jump right into that free pick and look to stay hot with our free pick reports. New Orleans Saints over under wins total 10 and a half. The argument for the Saints going under from some people that I've seen has been whether or not Drew Brees' shoulder uh, is basically on the downside of his career. You saw what happened last year. Late portion of the season down the stretch, a lot of his numbers went down and it looked like his arm was weary or his shoulder on his throwing arm. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, it could have been because he was banged up late last year. As simple as that. Or it could be that he's aging. We're going to find out, but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt for now until we see a real good reason to doubt what he can do as he gets a little bit older. And we'll know more as we head into August in preseason football. Obviously, got time to make those adjustments. They also argued that New Orleans overachieved last year. And, and I got to dispute that a little bit because last year, if you look at their schedule, yeah, they, they finished a couple of wins above their preseason win total but the bottom line was they never really shocked anybody or surprised anybody they didn't go out and win you know outright as an eight nine ten point dog seven point dog or anything like that they had a couple of outright wins when they were underdogs of less than three points in both of those games so you know i'm not shocked that new orleans did what they did last year and i don't make anything of that when it goes into this particular season uh, just break down the wins totals of teams that are on the schedule for the new orleans saints for this year and it'll help you come up with your own wins total for me listen again giving drew Brees the benefit of the doubt for now i think the offense is going to be fine i know they took a big loss up front on the offensive line but i think they're still going to be solid in both run and pass blocking you still got alvin kamara you've got latavius murray now as a running back to help out this team both i think can be good coming out of the backfield making short passes and also of course running the football got maybe the best wide receiver in the nfc maybe in the nfl and michael thomas and obviously breeze and thomas really have a nice symbiosis going so i think they're going to be perfectly fine on the offensive side of the football as far as the defensive side check out DV dvoa by the way on google nfl dvoa if you haven't checked it out yet uh, we've been following this from a website that we trust the last couple of years and DVOA really gives you a solid idea and a better idea of how good or how bad a defense is uh, without just looking at box score stats. It really breaks it down, but check it out. I'll explain more about it as we get closer to August 1st, closer to the kickoff of preseason football. But my point was is that the New Orleans defense has finished in the top 11 or 12 each of the last couple of years in that particular category and that metric. And I believe they're going to finish top 10 or right around top 10 again this upcoming campaign. I do like the defense enough to where I think they're going to be good, solid, and stout again. So how about the schedule? Check out those first three games. They open up at home against Houston. They're a seven-point favorite. Saw some seven and a halfs when it first opened offshore. Right now a seven-point favorite. After Houston, they got the huge revenge game for that 
terrible non-call in the playoffs last year huge revenge game in LA against the Rams followed by another one against the Seattle Seahawks another road game so they got to be real careful and not look ahead of the Houston Texans and I think with the fact that it's going to be week one is going to help that cause they'll stay focused on the task at hand when I look at the schedule for New Orleans I got them six and two through the first half of the year I got them going five and three over the second half of the year so I really do think if Bree's arm is healthy if his shoulder is healthy if us giving him the benefit of the doubt is the right thing to do, they probably go 11 and 5 this year. So I think it's really a 10 win or an 11 win season for the New Orleans Saints. Now, again, that total is 10 and a half. So right now, we just don't have a play on New Orleans. And I wanted to mention this again because some have asked. When we get all done with our NFL thumbnail sketches or over under win suggestions, recommendations, opinions, and bets, we're going to do one big video where we're going to talk about the half dozen teams or so that we have bets on, either over or under the wins total. We'll also let you know teams that were like just that close to going over or under with our bets. And we'll do all of that in a couple of weeks after we finish up all the teams, all the divisions. We got another team to go in this division on Tuesday. That's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and then I'll be jumping uh, into the NFC West and before you know it we'll be talking preseason football which begins this year on August 1st but we will let you know everybody we're betting as we get done with all the teams all these videos and also as I mentioned before if we do add a team like the New Orleans Saints to our bets well we'll let you know that very same day on our videos we'll let you know right as soon as we make that bet that very next night that very next morning video we'll let you know about it so anyway that's the NFL wins total report for Monday right now we're thinking the Saints go 10 or 11 wins too close to call from that 10 and a half over under wins total tomorrow we'll talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as far as our free pick in just a second we first a quick note again six unit baseball players our lone premium pick on Monday we look to go to 5-0 with our elite level baseball play since last week and look to go up about to about three thousand dollars one for those wagering just one hundred dollars per unit on those plays Let's get to our free pick uh, for Monday's card. And we're looking at the battle uh, between the Braves, of course. They are going to be sending Sakura on the mound. And they're going to be hosting, excuse me, they're going to be hosting the New York Mets. Well, here's the thing about the Braves. Nobody, if you would have got back to like, I don't know, April, March, would have thought that on June 16th, June 17th, the Atlanta Braves would be two and a half games ahead of the Phillies in that division, yet they are. They've been playing solid baseball. They've won nine of the last 10. The offense has gone nuts, 70 runs scored in their last 10 games. And one of the reasons they are where they are is because of this kid Soroka, starting pitcher for the Braves on Monday slate. He's been incredible so far this season. I don't see the apple cart overturning on him in this particular game. And I know the price is a little bit, a little bit bigger than we normally recommend playing. It's in that buck 45 to buck 50 range as we speak but again I think they got the right side uh, in this particular game where the money's come in on a little bit to push it up to a dollar fifty offshore as far as Zach Wheeler is concerned going for the Mets in this particular game he struggled on the road his last three starts on the road 15 earned runs allowed 28 hits allowed five home runs given up in 17 and two-thirds innings I think the Braves get to him get a little bit of revenge for losing to Zach Wheeler and the Mets way back around April 12th I like the Atlanta Braves minus the price over the New York Mets, our free pick for Monday. We'll look to go to 11 and 1 with the last 12 free picks. All right, that's going to do it for us. Kind of a lengthy video. Sorry about that, but we had a lot to talk about with those New Orleans Saints. We'll be right back here on Tuesday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column.